entertainment spot Jamaica, a hit give you the baddest news and reviews. Is there? Welcome back to the channel guys. Yeah man so this is a person of the name of Hugh Graham. Yeah, one of the richest person in Jamaica who actually owns a Lamborghini. Yeah. He admits that he has an addiction for luxury vehicles. He also speaks about coming from the struggles and a lot of things when facing a life and the tough life when been through until him become rich and success successful in a life. Yeah man, so let's just hear what him have to say. Much like the rough road leading to 51 Whitehall Avenue where Hugh Graham spent his earlier years, Life for the business mogul and politician was far from smooth. The tenement yard he called home hosted at least 28 others, but in the zinc and wooden structure he shared with his mother, sister, and two other boarders, there was plenty of love and an abundance of prayers from his mother, Libna Graham. Miss Lynn, as the petite devout Christian is affectionately called, said she worked tirelessly as a domestic helper and dressmaker to provide for her two children. She often relied on Hugh to wrap the buttons on the dresses she sewed. Although she could not read, Miss Lynn said she believed that education and salvation would be key to her children's success. Well, my belt, one set of my belt was down here, mm -hmm. um, going to school, left. by the time I reached school, left. fix up yourself, because you can't go in school like that. But um, yeah, it was a rasta thing until my mother got it out of me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I like a strict hand on <laughs> you know. Growing up was really just survival. Um, you know, it's hard to say I didn't realize that I was poor, and maybe because I never had a rich people around me, so I don't know. So, like this is the situation, so this is just the situation, so there was nothing to compare it with. Um, I never had a television, so I, you know, things from the outside would be coming in because I don't have a TV. Uh, so I failed common entrance mm -hmm. at Solar Field, mm -hmm. and I went on to the grade 9 achievement test, and that is, um, I was successful in that, so when I, I went to Calabar in um, third form, uh, not in first form. Mm -hmm. So when I went to work at Broadway, Linda Quilty. So I saw the job advertised as an accountant clerk and I applied for it. <clears throat> got the interview, got called for the interview. And if my interview was say 10 o'clock, I got there 9.30. Mm -hmm. And while waiting, they had a person before me and you know, the supervisor what turned out to be so why she came out and said, are you for an interview? I said, yes. And she said, um, well, the first person we interviewed we decided to give him the job, so we're not interviewing anybody else. So I said to her, boy, I can't go home. So what do you mean I can't go home? And I said, I can't go up home without work. She said, okay, follow me. And she walked out of the office mm -hmm. and walked out to the warehouse and she said, well, I have sheets of pack or a box of pack up. That's the work that I have. And I said, sure. From Broadway, I, I went to a company, AF Patents Limited. I was downtown on Tower Street. And uh, I mixed up driving Mr. Pattinson around. Um, so I was a driver and learning to sell chemicals because he was in the manufacturer's representative and commission agency business. Um, chemical business. So, in going out with him and taking him to his appointments and driving him around and so on, I started to learn about this thing. I remember interviewing with Wincourt, with a company that owned by Jamaica Brylands. And on the panel, I remember there's a gentleman, Leon Headley, he's no longer there, but he's still alive. After I did well, because I knew the chemical business and I had good exposure, good, good exposure, international exposure, mash up the interview. As walking, interview finished, I said, okay, I was going through the door, I remember pushing the door and he said, Hugh, by the way, there's a question. So I turned back 
And he said, why do you want to come and work for us? And I couldn't answer the question. I really couldn't, 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 couldn't answer the question. So I asked him to give me some time to answer the question. So I told my friends about interviews that I went on and what happened. Mm -hmm. And they said, why not? And we started to think about it. They were more the one to lead it. It turned out of Richard's father-in-law, he, uh, he was a lawyer, all right, is, so it is, and he had a library. So Richard convinced his father-in-law to allow him to use a library for an office. And the arrangement was that they would pay the administrative costs, so they would pay for the lights, the rent, and so on. And I would cover my cost, which is um, if I had to take somebody to lunch or whatever it is that I wanted to do, I cover my cost. They weren't going to cover that. And my part of the role was the sweat equity. So I was the one working, they were supporting. So that is basically how Paramount started on the floor of Daryl's room. The first year of business, looking back now I'd say it was rough, but when you're really doing something, you don't, the measure of whether it is hard or is easy wasn't, it wasn't a measure, it was you had to do it and you just do it. You know, so it's more, I had no choice. Really, I don't have no work. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is all now I know. Mm -hmm. So um, I just had to to make it work. If I look back at my life, there wasn't. If I wanted to do anything or to own anything, uh, it would be minuscule compared to, if you put it at things, no. Mm -hmm. Meaning, if I wanted to own a car, but I don't want to own a ladder. If I never own a ladder, that would be the end of my thing, but I'm happy from now till next year. Um, so, for me, what is in the way? For you to get is your way and is yours and nobody can get it so if being a prime minister or being a vice president or being a whatever is in my way i believe it will remain so i own a lamborghini I never had it in my mind to own a lamborghini is a friend of mine you know? mm -hmm. go to the place i didn't even know um, send a picture and say you know this car you have name you have a name written all over it i'm just sure buy it for me and i'm sorry Next thing I know, from WhatsApp, and paid on five thousand dollar pound a week for. Mister, you must know you have to pay your feet. I'm saying you, you have to buy this car. You have to buy it. Say so it's not something that I had in mind and I wanted and it's my desire and whatever it is. So I look back at my life as just how my life has been unfolding. That is more my steps are ordered than me ordering my steps. Speaking about the Lamborghini, how many cars do you have here? No. I don't know, it's bad. <laughs> These are all you have. How many do you have? <laughs> <laughs> when I got into cars, I used to fix up cars, I had a mini. You know, I soup it up, them call it back in the days. Uh, I used to have like a, an Ilman imp that I got I didn't buy it. It was you called a loaner, I didn't own it, but I fixed it up and, and had it. So the interest started to build, you know, in the cars, but even these cars, again it don't really, it had very little to do with me. My mother is a real simple woman. Um, you know, Bobo said she's a real Jamaican woman. Very simple, and you probably say I walk out here, very simple. She's not into whatever, she's still you know, outside of COVID, but she still walk with the church and take bus. Mm -hmm. And um, 
at one point I was heavily criticized that I have so many weeks and my mother walking. Um, but she liked to walk. She, that's what she knows. She mm -hmm. actually walked from St. Mary to Constance Spring. That's how she got to town. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's in our blood. I did to carry a shower and she looked a bit like this. Mm -hmm. you know, um, so I just know from her old age she's going to church. She, kind of take so much of that acting so she wants to like, mm -hmm. drive her to church and pick her up. But she walk about, walk about, she like her walking. But she's a very simple woman. Mm -hmm. And in terms of me, I think she understands that whatever is in the way of me. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to Entertainment Spot Jamaica.